Hey guys, what's up? Hope you're doing great. Gosh, I'm back with another exciting video tutorial. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create a, a object transform from uh, sorry one object from another object inside this Anima 4D without any plugin. So I will show you what I mean. So if I hit play, so as you can see here, so we just uh, change our uh, one object to another object so in this video I'm gonna show you how you can do that so first we need to have a two car models or anything you want so make sure you have a all car in different uh, all cars in separate pieces so otherwise it's not gonna work so or it's not gonna look good so we have one BMW I think oh sorry AMG Mercedes and one we have an old model of any car. I don't know what is it, which one is that. So, so let me configure. So we just delete it. We just create a new file, new object file. So just import your model here. So we just. I'm using here. So we just change the name to AMG we just copy that and paste in sorry I need to close it sorry for that okay paste here our AMG we have AMG file uh, AMG card so as you can see I just remove all materials so as you can see here so we have AMG with uh, separate pieces in separate pieces like what i mean by separate pieces we have a chassis we have a bonnet we have a tire that's what i mean so and we need to take our next model car model you can use anything so it's depend on you what you want so let's see all car i don't know what is which one is that so troll the so we just remove the texture for now so as you can see here I just uh, put both car on the same position and the same size so for make it look uh, real so let's start beginning so what we just we had uh, I want to draw from my old car to a AMG so what can I do I, here so I just hide my AMG for now and create go in more graph and create a fracture what the heck is that I don't know what is happening so just click on fracture now uh, select your all these parts all the car parts old car part and drag and drop inside under the fracture layer and rename it to all and delete that now and do same with uh, AMG so we just hide all for now and take this all parts and drag and drop under our new fracture layer and rename it as a AMG so now we just remove that AMG and now we hide again AMG and hide our old car model so now next thing what we need to do so now just go in more graph a factor and add a plane effector so now go in click on old fracture uh, go in a factor tab and drag and drop your plane in the effectors so now as you can see it's going up so because there is uh, in transforms oh sorry in plane effector in plane parameters we just enable uh, position to 100 centimeter or in y axis so we just add it zero for now so we just rename it plane for all and we we'll just add some parameters so I add 100 to 20 maybe 30 it's depend on you do whatever you want and main main thing so just uh, add scale 
on all axis minus one minus one and minus one so if you are using uh, r20 or r2 uh, r21 so you also have a field in your what we say in your program but if you are use a uh, sanma 4d version under r20 so you must do it uh, manually with follow so make sure you have r20 if you don't have so just download from nalpk.com so next thing add rotation so we just add 20 90 and 84 or just 68 it's random. now we add a follow so we add a box field so as you can see here when we hit box field now what happened so where is your box go it's affect on your uh, this planar effect on this part of your card so as you can see here so that's what we want so we just increase the size of our box field like that uh, where we fit our car whole car so as you can see here make sure your car fit inside this so make it little big okay that's looking great now we go to, uh, we hide our old uh, we say old car model and unhide uh, AMG so so now we create a new plane a uh, plane effector go in more graph a factor click on plane and go in AMG uh, AMG fracture and click on a factor so as you can make sure your other effector uh, effect on your AMG fracture so we just rename it as a plane for AMG so now same thing we do with that so with this effector we just add 100 50 40 scale minus 1 for all rotation 30 60 30 and create a fall of box field so now as you can see here just fix the size of a factor we don't want to miss any part of our car so as you can see it's fixed also we just increase the frame from 90 to 150 and now we need to animate these factor so that's it uh, that's so simple so what we can how we can do that so first we want to show our unhide both of these so first we want to show our uh, what we say amg sorry old car model so we just add a keyframe like the box feel of uh, plane for old just keyframe here on zero frame and go on 90 maybe so take it on your car exact position make sure there is a no part visible so just click on keyframe again now don't worry about that just run it. So, so as you can see what happened when we hit play so our car is gone now we need to animate the box field for our AMG so as you can see here our box field is hide for AMG when we take it there it's visible again so what we can do what we can do here now we just go on frame 30 and add a keyframe for our box field for AMG click on keyframe and take it apart like that sorry just go on 120 frame 120 and do like that so just add another keyframe and 
There we go. So when you hit play, so let's see what happened. So as you can see here, so how easily we can do that. So if you are using R20 or R21, so you have field, there is a lot more option to play around. So as we in field, we want to delay our speed. So what we do, we just go in fields and add delay factor. Uh, delay of field, so as you can see here, we also do with that same with AMG. And that's it. So I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. If you don't subscribe my channel, so subscribe it now. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Stop.